Hey guys, it's Jab. Today I'm going to show some of the PSA graded cards I have picked up recently to add to my collection. Mostly first edition fossil. I'm going for the complete 62 card set and also one Dragonite, which with the Dragonites I'm just going for one of each English English and Japanese printed cards. So yeah, let's take a look. The first one is a common. We have a PSA 10 Geodude. Nothing too special, but of course needed for the full set. Next up is a Cedra. Cool card. I've always like, I don't know, just basically all of the Wizards of the Coast era sets are pretty awesome. Fossil, probably one of my favorites because it was the first showing of Dragonite in this set. First edition PSA 10 Weezing. Next up is another uncommon Golduck PSA 10. Kabutops, this one is a rare. Of course, this all the rares also have the or the hollow variant of them. Right, next two are hollows, so these are the cool ones. Hitman Lee. Gem Mint 10. Gotta love the hollow patterns in these early sets. And then an Aerodactyl. So this one was kind of frustrating because when I bought it, it was with a group of other Gem Mint 10 cards, but the seller had actually sent me a 9 for some reason. I guess he just mixed them up. So I had to send the 9 back, and I finally got this one back. So yeah, I'm happy to have this and add it to my collection. And then the last one is another Dragonite pickup. A Holon Research Tower Dragonite Delta Species. These are pretty difficult to find um, in English. Japanese is a tad easier, but yeah, it's cool because it's first edition and got a collection goal out of the way. Uh, I guess also I can show my progress. I'll go through real quick of all the Dragonites I have so far. Um, pretty big stack of them, as you can see, but yeah, I'll just give a quick overview of my collection. Not gonna pause very long on each card. Um, actually, we should do it. Do it this way. Um, flip it around and just pull them out. I'll show the newest Dragonites first. I organize them by year, and then the oldest ones last. So we have the Full Art Evolutions Dragonite. And we have the. Hollow from Evolutions, Dragonite EX. Then we have the Japanese variant of it. Then we have Japanese Emerald Break, first edition. This is a really cool one. Uh, I don't know, I just like this full art. First edition, Rising Fist, full art, Dragonite EX. Then we have the Hatch Hollow and the normal from Platinum Supreme Victors. Then some of these I graded myself, actually a lot of them, but some of them I picked up finding good deals on eBay. This is one I didn't expect to get a 10. Um, I found this card like really cheap from some bulk seller, usually bulk sellers like Troll and Toad or whatever, you can't really find good condition cards from them too often, but I think this was one from like collector's cash or something. The reason I didn't think it would get a 10 is because, I don't know if you guys can see, I might not be able to pick it up on the camera, but let's see, there's actually a, a scratch on his nose, like, I guess if I can't even pick it up on the camera easily. PSA might have glanced over it, but yeah, there's like a pretty obvious scratch on the nose. I didn't think it'd get a 10, but I 
guess the rest of the card was pretty flawless. Anyway, I'm so, I said I was going to go through these quickly, but I just wanted to talk about that real quick. And the Team Rocket Returns non-hollow, and the Expedition non-hollow. And then this one's pretty awesome, Legendary Collection, PSA 10. Of course, everyone probably knows how hard it is to grade these reverse hollows from Legendary Collection in 10s. So yeah, I'm happy to have that one. And we have the Japanese Expedition non hollow The Web, got this one from Trainer Tony, pretty good deal. Lance's Dragonite and Claire's Dragonite. These are Japanese exclusive. Yeah, I like these. Definitely unique artwork for sure. And we have the first edition Fossil Dragonite. non hollow Oh, let me go. This, the other hollow version is in with my Fossil stuff. So yeah, this is probably um, the most notable Dragonite. The hollow first edition Fossil one. First Dragonite that was printed, most sought after one for the most part. So happy to have that one. And then we have the Game Boy promo, another Japanese exclusive. And the last one is the Japanese Fossil Dragonite. Let's compare this to the English one real quick, actually. So as you can see, the English one. Let me just set these down and pick up the camera. The English one is like a bit lighter, it looks like. And the... Actually, I kind of prefer the the way the Japanese one looks, like with the, the Cosmos Hollow. It just looks cleaner. I don't know. Anyway. Yep, that's it for this video. Um, I will be posting more videos as my collection grows, and yeah, it's my box I store everything in. Here's some stuff that's going out soon, I'll make a video of that at some point, but yeah. So that's it for this video, I will see you guys for the next one, thanks for watching.